back in the village of Reedley. We're heading up onto the Nanthla Ridge uh, to do the summit up there and a world camp. Not sure how many we get done, but we're going to try to do all of them. So we've come from Reedley, which is over there, follow the path round through the two gates and then up onto the first summit of the day, which is Agan. And not to be confused with the Agan on the Glitters, because there are a few Agans up on Aruri. So we're going to head up onto there and start the walk. Matt just dropped his glove. He had to go all the way back down there to get it. <laughs> could be worse, could be worse to start the walk or something. So I meant to stop for a breather now. We're about 420 metres up. The first summit again is 633. So only 210 metres to go or thereabouts. If I pan over there now, got some decent views now. You are Hrinda Wachen down there, with a little island in the middle. Over there you've got uh, Aaron, and you've got Snowden in the clouds. So, the summit's up there. And we're going to do the final push now. Head up to the summit of again. Oh yes, it is steep. But on the videos I've seen of it, it doesn't look steep, does it? But no. everyone says the same, it is. It is. Ah, apparently this is the first, sorry, apparently this is the worst bit of it. Is it? Or the steepest bit of it. So yeah, once we get over this then. Okay, it won't be too bad. We've got a few peaks and troughs, haven't we? But like, yeah. Close, eh? Yeah, none of, the, none of the summits are over 800 metres anyway, so yeah, it should be alright. You can do the Alps, you can do this. Oh, yeah. So get up here. Yeah. <laughs> well said. All the weather forecasts were giving rain today, but surprisingly, so far, so good. It's better than what I thought it was going to be today. You've got a kiss of death on that now. <laughs> Yeah. Probably say, have. say nothing. Probably have. Say nothing. But tomorrow. Don't say anything. Tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be a better day. Again, apparently. Little to no rain tomorrow. Say nothing. So yeah, that's going to be. That's going to be something to look forward to. And all going well. We might stay out for another night because. We're both off work on Monday, so yeah, we might do um, another night in the tent. Have you got a week off next week, Mark? So, so that'd be good. Sorry? Have you got a week off next week? No. Oh, it must be me then. <laughs> what a toe rag, huh? <laughs> but it's okay, because I'm in work Tuesday and Wednesday, then I'm off then, so the Tuesday after. Yes! And guess what? I'm back up here again. <laughs> Love it. What, wow. on, this, on this mountain? Nearly went. No, North Wales. Yeah. Visiting the in-laws. Or should I say outlaws? <clears throat> Karen's going to kill me. <laughs> so, sorry, Karen. No, sorry. Sorry, not, not sorry. sorry. Oh. 
So there's the first summit in the bag. Again, 633 meters. Let's go and tap out. Next up, boys and girls, is this na gnarly looking peak, and it's called Muniv Druce Akoid. And anyone who knows me, they know I don't like ridges as such. Like, I wouldn't do Crib Gok, but um, I'm told this one's not too bad, so we'll soon find out now. Hope they're right. Well, I don't see much of a path on this section. I think it's just a case of picking your way over the rock side, isn't it? Haha, yeah. -ha, there's the path again. It's only a little bit of a little bit of a scramble. Up there looks interesting, though. <laughs> all good fun though, all good fun. But you don't want to fall down here like. I'll be lights out, all out. If you go down there, because that is stiff. Jesus. Hell of a gully that is. Keep away from the edge. I don't know if you can hear me with the wind, but some of this is a bit sketchy. But what a superb hike this is. They mean to do this for a few years now, but I haven't got around to it until now. Awesome. I don't know where we go up there. Go round, is it? The boss said go round, so I will go round. <laughs> what do you think of it so far? I'm loving it. Oh, this is what it's all about, isn't it? Brilliant. Look at the views. You don't get much better than that in Wales. Jesus.
like this socks. Only the brave will go up there. I'm going that way. There's a path to the left. Do you reckon, Simon? Yeah, careful, yeah. <laughs> but that looks mad, doesn't it? Wow. What a place. The views up here are something else. I knew it'd be good, but I didn't think it'd be this good. Absolutely stunning. Money of Drusel Coyd is up there. And then we're gonna make our way over to the next summit in the distance. So it's gonna follow the path now. Up around those rocks. And get to the summit. Just coming to the second summit of the day. Money of Drusel Coyd. 695 meters. This is money of Drusa Coid. Next, we're going to trim a viscal, and that's the third summit of the day. Off the summit of Trimmer Viscal, which is up there. We're gonna have a break a minute, get out of the wind for five minutes, have a protein bar, Trek protein bar, have a drink, and carry on then. Oh, good hike though, very good hike. Just coming to the third summit, Trimmer Viscal, 709 metres. This is the summit up here. I'd say by there. Money of Talaminyev. It's probably the most well known summit on the Nantla Ridge because of the massive Trig Point obelisk. You can probably see it from here in the distance. A narrow bit in it. Just 
just come up to the summit of Murnyev Tal and Miniev and this obelisk was built to commemorate Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee. It's a massive structure that is. Very impressive. Sat here by Mani Vitalaminyev Obelisk. We're gonna try and find some better pitch a tent up now, out of the wind hopefully, and then tomorrow morning we'll do um, Craig Cum Sillen, Ganev Gork, and Mani Vgrig Gork. They're the last three uh, summits on the Nankla Ridge, so we're gonna do M3 in the morning. But the hard part now is trying to find somewhere out of the wind. There might be something back down there, so we'll have a, have a look now and then put the tent up. So yeah, we're in one tent tonight, me and Simon. We thought we'd bring a two-man tent, try and save a little bit on the weight. And yeah, we'll give the Foul Raven a best go light to a, a test in the wind tonight. We think we found our pitch for tonight. It's not the flattest area in the world but up in the Nantla Ridge there's not a lot of flat ground unfortunately so we're gonna put it there facing that way and we've got the wall hopefully a bit of a wind break and tomorrow it's a better day tomorrow apparently the wind is easing so we got that to look forward to so we're going to put the tent up now and get in up the wind for 10 minutes. And there it is, the tent's up. It's not the most level pitch in the world, but... That'll do for tonight. Whoa! It'll be a good test for the tent, if nothing else. <laughs> we just had to pack up the tent. Um, we decided it's too windy to stay here. We have to try and go further down somewhere and try and find another pitch we can get out of the wind. Unreal. I'm sorry to see. We've done well over 100 caps. It's the first time we've bailed. We dropped down a bit lower. And the wind, it got worse if anything. It was that bad, we had, to, we had to dig our poles into the ground, otherwise we were gone. That's how bad it was. And if I pan round, you can see the trees. And it's even worse up there. That's where we come down from. We drop down and then down onto the forest. Um, on, onto the logging road, like. I, I honestly thought it was a blow us off the edge. On that ridge there then, I was that scared, I thought it was a blow us off the edge, but I dig, like, massive, I dig our poles in. It was a I reckon that's the worst, worst wind I've ever hiked in. But. Oh, I'm gutted, I'm gutted then. It is what it is. It's dark now and we've run out of options, so. We're just gonna pitch a tent here. You've got the path just up by there, it's not ideal. But this is home for the night. It'll have to do, will it? Yep, it'll have to do. It's better than nothing. So right, let's stick the tent up again. Twice a day. Take two. No wind down here now. Perfect camping conditions. Nice flat pitch in this forest, or the edge of the forest using the foul raven, the best go light too using it because it's a two man tent just to keep the weight down as we split the weight between ourselves so 
Yeah, shame, shame you couldn't camp up on top, but hey ho, that's life. At least we're, we're safe down here, nice and well, no wind, no issues. Yeah, it's all good. Turned out well in the end. took delivery of my new Soto Windmaster on Monday so I'm using this for the first time tonight I need to boil the water for my pot noodle there's a lid punctured in my bag so I guess some water on the go now and see how it performs should be good absolutely zero wind down here so yeah should be should do well First time using the Windmaster, gotta be fair, it boiled um, a titanium mug of water for my pot noodle probably in less than a minute. That is quick. I lifted the cup off and there's one hell of a flame on there, so yeah. First um, use of it and yeah, well impressed. We are both fed and watered, really tired, early night tonight, uh, we're gonna hit the sack. <coughs> and go to sleep didn't really show you the the, the pitch where we pitched earlier because it was so dark but what we'll do we'll show you around in the morning nice and level pitch no wind bonus so yeah we're going to bed and uh, we'll see you in the morning Good morning from Beth Gellett Forest. Just show you around this little woodland. Right here. There was uh, there's a few places you can put a tent in here. It's always good for um, the future if we ever need to come back. Um, over here, you've got a good spot. So if we ever get caught out in the future, um, we can come down here because there's a fair few places which are level. We can pitch a tent. I think this is the best one here. So I'll just show you exactly where the tent is. Obviously, if we had a bit more visibility last night, we could come in here, but we, it's pretty dark, so. Here's our pitch. It didn't work out too bad in the end. Really level, got a good night's sleep in there. There's Mark, hello. Hi, uh. Hello. Um, so, we're not far from the path, the end of the path towards Read the so we've come from there through the forestry and then if you go through the gate and follow the road oh sorry the path round and then read read the is down that way I think it's time for a cup of coffee and a porridge We got the old 900 milliliter pot on the go. Almost full of water. Let's see how long the windmaster takes to boil that up. Nice and easy this morning. Just a just a porridge and a and a coffee. Simon Simon's got the same. Yeah, not a bad spot for the coffee to be fair. 
Mass Usabi? No. Am I I've to put a bit more water. <laughs> That's fine. Do need to reboil it with more water because that pan there, that pot there, full to the top, has done two coffees and two porridges. <coughs> Very handy that is. And the views over there past read the I can, just, I can see him through the trees, you can't see him probably on the GoPro. It's pretty murky and misty over there. Nice little spot this was. We definitely made uh, the right decision coming off the mountain because this was our refuge for the night. You know, I don't see the point in uh, playing a hero and sticking that out because the weather was brutal. There's too many heroes in the graveyard. So, yeah, I think it's definitely the right decision what we did. So we're going to break down camp now and uh, get ready to get out of here. We're pretty much done here. Everything's packed away. All the tent is put away as well. That's where the tent was. Always leave the campsite as you've uh, found it. No rubbish anywhere. Always a case with us. So if you've made it this far into the video and you like what you see, hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more future adventures from me and Mark, consider hitting the subscribe button as well. So we're all done here in Beth Gellert Forest. Until the next time, bye for now.